वेलकम पीपल इन दिस वीडियो वी गोइंग टू स्टार्ट ऑफ विथ एंटी कोलिनर्जिक ड्रग्स होप कोलिनर्जिक ड्रग्स यू हैव अंडरस्टूड सो लेट इज मूव ऑन टू एंटी कोलिनर्जिक ड्रग्स फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल दीज आर पैरासिपेटोलाइटिक्स दे आर पैरासिपेटोलाइटिक्स दैट इज दे विल नॉट लेट द पैरासिपेटिक रिसेप्टर्स वर्क दैट इज वॉट यू हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल so what exactly happens if you block all the parasympathetic receptors see muscarinic antagonists these are usually they will block the muscarinic um, uh, receptors so that's what you should understand nicotinic usually is not affected very minorly some drugs will affect nicotinic so majorly you can re remember it as muscarinic antagonists you understood wake up if you are sleeping guys we are discussing anticholinergic drugs anticholinergic drugs are usually muscarinic receptor blockers okay antagonist to muscarinic receptors that's what you can say instead of blockers you can say they do whatever they bind but they definitely are antagonist to this muscarinic receptors they are parasympathetic muscarinic antagonist okay so if we give such drugs example atropine let us say it is a prototype in this atropine is the prototype so if you give atropine to some person what will happen so let us first go to the eye in eye what will happen m3 will get blocked so this person will uh, not be able to constrict the pupil so this is kind of a passive midriasis will be there so passive midriasis will be there actually he has he is not able to constrict pupil so light reflex will be lost accommodation reflex will be lost correct this person will have a very dry mouth remember atropine dry mouth then <clears throat> m3 is blocked so this guy will have uh, bronchodilation kind of a thing right then tachycardia m2 is blocked he won't sweat he won't secrete urinary retention will happen remember urinary retention will happen because m3 is blocked here blood pressure actually not much effect <clears throat> and coming to the central nervous system see parasympathetic is rest however this drug atropine is a parasympathetic or it's an anticholinergic drug so cns stimulation will be there okay now sweat glands are not working they are not uh, they are not sweating so what happens the body temperature can rise okay then that's all guys so much if you have understood more than enough okay so what will happen if you give a guy atropine come on tell uh, fast fast passive midriasis uh, loss of accommodation reflex dry mouth bronco uh, dilation tachycardia this guy won't sweat so body temperature can rise no secretions this guy will uh, not be able to urinate so he will have urinary retention that's all guys just see the action of atropine on the eye passive midriasis because m3 block paralysis of constrictor pupillae constrictor pupillae cannot work he cannot constrict the eye but this is passive midriasis it's not active midriasis okay because you are doing blockade of m3 alpha 1 is not stimulated alpha 1 if you stimulate then only you will have active midriasis so this is a passive midriasis then accommodation reflex accommodation reflex is lost because the cilia ciliary muscle is paralyzed okay m3 receptors ciliary muscle uh, m3 receptors are uh, blocked so ciliary muscle is paralyzed ciliary muscle cannot accommodate the lens so the lens uh, it's not able to change its uh, shape hence there is loss of accommodation reflex understood accommodation reflex is lost here here light reflex is lost both the reflexes are lost okay so so far we have seen what exactly these drugs anticholinergic drugs do okay now uh, where exactly you use what where, what is the classification all that we look at in the next video okay See you guys bye bye